going through selenium web driver architecture so first of all uh, today we will be going to do the setup for selenium uh, selenium web driver and uh, for that i would suggest you to go and go to the official website again of selenium go to the download section and here in this section selenium client and web driver language bindings you will find java in java against java there is a download section click on this download it will download the latest version of selenium that is 3.5.3 okay when you click on download it will give you a zip file as you can see that on the left it will give you a zip file when you unzip this file you will get libraries like this when you unzip it you will get one library right here and there is one folder that is called as lib if you open it you will get all the libraries right here right here so there are total 33 plus one outside that is 34 libraries in total so make sure when you download and when you unzip it there are 34 libraries and to configure it in your own project what we need to do so here we have created a project where we discussed about the java you can go to that project do the right click properties in this properties go to java build path libraries and then click on add external jars where you will add all those 34 jar files okay so this is what we have done in case of Selenium HQ as well, sorry, in case of Apache PO as well. And I hope you remember how you can add your libraries now in your project. Coming back to the architecture of Selenium WebDriver, how it looks like, how it works. So first is, there is a remote web driver. So there are two types of dri web drivers in Selenium. One is called as web driver and one is called as remote web driver. Web driver is the one. So what is web driver? Web driver is the one which is used to create a, I would say, Selenium session or I would say to create a web driver session. What is session here? As you know, Selenium is an API, so we create a session and then it starts interacting with the browser and that's how the thing happens. In case of WebDriver, it is used to run scripts on remote systems. So like, uh, you know, remember we talked about Selenium Grid, correct? We talked about Selenium Grid. So this, if you are using Selenium Grid, then we will use Remote Web Driver, which is again used to create sessions, but on remote systems. And if I talk about on our own system, if you want to create sessions, then we use Selenium, you know, this Web Driver. Now, so this Web Driver has different, different methods, has different, different classes, or I would say, you know, it is being implemented at multiple places. What we are seeing right here, let's see that from the perspective of the documentation of Selenium itself. How to get into the Selenium documentation? When you open this uh, Selenium HQ, you here Java doc. Okay. Click on this Java doc. And after clicking, search for web driver. 
you can get a web driver here click on that it's an interface it's an interface okay and these are the classes which is using this web driver interface so let's see the methods which is present in this interface remember i have mentioned i have given you an example in terms of the database for the interface where we can declare but we cannot define so we have done here we have declared few methods that is called as find by find elements close get get url so these are the methods you can see that all methods and these are the classes which are actually implementing all these all these methods so if you are working on chrome driver okay then if you are working on chrome driver then chrome driver is implementing all this if we are working on other drivers then they are also implementing these same methods uh ravi as you mentioned do we have a shaman driver so what the driver has done from 3.0 it has taken it separately if you want html driver it's not there in this now in selenium now okay in selenium it is not there now and you have to download it separately now so when you see that it is completely separate now from selenium that is this html unit driver going back to the java documentation going back to web driver so in this web driver these are the classes which is implementing this web driver and there all the methods of this interface are getting implemented in these classes and one of them is remote web driver class as i have mentioned okay so the driver is where uh, you know the web driver is an interface and these are the classes if you want to work on chrome you initialize you create an instance of this class if you want to work on firefox you create an instance of this class if you want to execute your scripts on the remote browsers then you don't need to execute or you don't need to create an object of these classes you just create an object of remote web driver and the settings for chrome firefox and all those uh, browsers is different okay and that's what it states here remote web driver this is the class takes a screenshot is one of the method this is one of the method find by link text find by name find by tag name so these are the methods what we have javascript executor is an interface takes a screenshot is an interface so they have just mentioned the architecture here they have mentioned that uh, there are multiple classes selenium classes that is firefox driver class chrome driver class safari driver internet explorer driver as well in these classes if you want to work on firefox then you should have a jaco driver you should install or you, sorry you should not install you should download jaco driver if you want to work on chrome then chrome driver is the class but you will need to download chrome driver exe separately if you want to work on safari driver then you will have to download it separately if you want to work on internet explorer then there is a different driver separately and that's how you actually interact with the browsers so for that uh, you know just now we have downloaded selenium libraries as we will be working on firefox i would suggest you download one more thing that is called as mozilla jaco driver like it's mentioned in the ppt as well if you want to work on firefox you should have jaco driver as well
So just click on it. Click on the version number. Here you go. With the version number, go down. You will see the downloads. If you are working on Windows, just download the zip. You will get inside an exe. Unzip that and place that exe somewhere in your system. We will be using it. So first of all, what is the key architecture themes? Keep the Cohes cost down. Emulate the user and open source project. Keep it simple and flexible. So what is the architecture? It is very simple and flexible. It's an open source project. It can help you to emulate the user. It keeps the cost down. I'll go through with this what it says by Simon, uh, Simon Stewart. I hope you are aware who is Simon Stewart. A creator of WebDriver. Who has developed this WebDriver? Jason Huggins team has developed the initial level, the Selenium RC, but Simon Stewart has developed the Selenium WebDriver. Okay, so you may take a look as well at the link provided. Also, I'll take a look from my end. So WebDriver, when they have developed WebDriver, they, these are the few things which uh, they always wanted. Uh, they wanted to keep their project uh, open source. They wanted to keep it simple and flexible. They keep the, they wanted to keep the course still down. And that's why they come up with the concept of API rather than creating a tool. Yes, of course, emulate the user because the humans are not going and automating the things. Okay, we are emulating from the user point of view. We are not doing anything, but we are behaving like that. And we are checking whether things are working perfectly or not. And these are the four things they have in mind and that's how they come up with this Selenium tool. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.